So this is a really interesting ride. I used to do this when I went to Queens College. I used to go from Queens College all the way back to Brooklyn. And it's really interesting because this area in Queens College is in Flushing. And Flushing is more of like a, you have Jewish people, you have Asian people, you have South American people, you have South Asian people, European people. So a lot of variety here in this part of Queens. And then you go from there all the way into Brooklyn. That's more like Caribbean people, Spanish Caribbean people, Central American people, African American people. So it's interesting seeing like that, like the dynamics, like how everything changes. Cause things drastically change. Just check it out. We go from houses that look like this. And look at this view. And I'm gonna show you guys Brooklyn when we get there. Good old New York traffic. They have been doing construction here for years. They've been doing construction here since the beginning of time. What the hell are they doing? This highway that I'm on, normally you would make a right to get on the exit to the next highway. They completely demolished it. It's a dirt road now. Let me tell you about the Van Wick. The Van Wick is a highway in Queens. I personally believe it was made to transfer people from the south of Queens to the north of Queens to connect them to highways that could then take you into Manhattan, the Bronx, and Brooklyn. Because the beginning of the Van Wick is JFK Airport. That's like one of the biggest airports in the US. The Van Wick has been under construction for the last maybe 15 years. The minute you think they're making progress, they decide to knock something else down, an exit, an overpass, and just rebuild it. Now, a lot of my friends, we think that the Van Wick is like a conspiracy theory kind of thing where it's just gonna be a never ending construction project because it's not really clear what it is they're actually doing. For example, let's say there's a bridge, right? They may shut down the bridge for a day or two because they're trying to renovate it. It's clear what the objective is. They're gonna renovate a bridge. Here with the Van Wick, nobody understands what the hell they're trying to do. So that's the confusing part. I don't know New York, if anybody knows what they're really doing, with the Van Wick, please let me know because I'm interested. So now we in Brooklyn, Brooklyn, Brooklyn. All right guys, so I'm sure you guys can see now what I was talking about with the dynamic change comparing Flushing, Queens to East New York, Brooklyn. Right over here, this is Crown Heights as well. This is Eastern Parkway. And the dynamic completely changes. It's a lot more urban, it's a lot more city. Flushing Queens has its urban parts as well, but it's a mix of suburban with urban. This part of Brooklyn specifically on Eastern Parkway, this is very, very, very urban. When you turn off the road, you got some side streets and some houses like these, but the feel is still very city. You got more buses passing by, there's a lot more train lines. You have access to more trains in Brooklyn than you do in Queens. And you can really get around more as a pedestrian. Over here, this is Flatbush. This is a mall that they had built a few years back. They got a big Target there, Chipotle. I went to a Panamanian restaurant because I'm Panamanian. And I was kind of hoping to get some food and unfortunately they didn't have any food available. That's how my people are, you know what I mean? Sometimes we got it, sometimes we don't. But I was able to pick up one of my favorite drinks. This right here is called Sari. Or if you're Jamaican, it's called Saru. I feel like Panamanians 
they make this the best. It was a little expensive. It cost me $5 for it. Let's see if it's really good. My mother makes a really good sorrow. Let's see if this is as good as hers. Cause you know nothing's better than mommy's sorrow. <sighs> okay. All right, so I'm gonna be real. It's not the best sorrow I've had. Am I happy to have it? Yeah. Cause I haven't had like real sorrow in a while, you know? In Puerto Rico, they sell the leaves that you use to make it, but they don't they don't make this type of drink out there. So it's nice to have it, you know? I haven't had it in like a year. This is not compared to my mother's sorrow at all. It's good to be drinking it again, I'm not gonna lie. All right, I'm gonna start walking. And then if you, maybe you could pull up a car right there. Okay, okay I see the get in front of the house. Ha, 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 ha. 